were you um, involved with bringing that? Was it Jacksonville State when they played UNA at Toyota so, Field? So that football? was that was my first project that I brought to town. Sweet. Uh, uh, when I when I got to town, met with uh, Josh Looney, the AD at UNA, um, and they wanted to bring a game to Huntsville. Um, we needed something that had ten thousand seats. Um, but we needed something different. Hey, what can we do that would have a hook that would resonate on a different level? Um, and it fit in the middle of their schedule. Um, and so we start, we, we were looking, Joe Davis wasn't going to be online. Milton Frank, the press box doesn't lend itself to all the stuff that you need to do from a division one game. Um, and so we sat down with the trash pandas and I was like, Hey guys, can we fit a football field in here? And we started measuring it out, and they called a couple people, and they sent me back a drawing in. Well, we can't go down the right field line, but, hey, we can do this down the left field line. How much room do you need behind the end zone? So we go start looking. I'm like, oh, we, we need three yards behind both end zones. We had seven six or seven behind the left field wall, mm -hmm. but between the left field wall and the end zone. Uh, and that's when we started talking to the NCAA and the rules committee and all that to get all the waivers we needed to play the game and have both teams go in the same direction. Um, they had done it at Wrigley Field uh, it was about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, Illinois played Northwestern, and they played in one direction. Mm -hmm. They realized – like the the back of the end zone was the wall at Wrigley. Like, did you know that? I did. And so when you proposed I, so it? that was that was the thing. It, I'd like to say again, I'd like to say I'm extremely smart. Came up with one direction football. Um, but they had already built the exemption and the rules and how you would operate in a one direction situation. Yeah. So we just took that, modified it to the Toyota field. And put on a, a heck of a show that that night. It was yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of work, um, and so. But it 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 showcase it it shows how you can you've got the canvas, and okay, hey, we've got a ballpark. Yeah. Okay, what what can we do with this? It's it, it's it's a gorgeous place. The trash pandas do a great job with it. Okay, what what else can we do? Hey, we know we've got college baseball. We've done some other events out there. They do concerts. Okay, hey, are y'all open to this? Let's look at doing a football game. And everybody had a great great time doing it. Any? How, what was the feedback from the players, coaches? They they love it. They loved it. Uh, had a great great time. Um, the only the, a couple of the things that you're used to at a football game that you don't think about until like the last minute when you're kind of really dotting eyes and crossing T's and the field's in place. So it's like Tuesday, it's like Wednesday night. We're at the ballpark, me and uh, uh, Garrett with the Trash Pandas, and we're walking around, and we're sitting, and we're like, hey, we may have some issues, and we're, we start looking at some of the seats, and we're like, we get down there, and it's like third base, front row. Phenomenal seat for a baseball game. Not for football. It's at midfield. If I'm sitting in that front row, I have got nothing but the offensive line. Okay, hey, we know somebody's bought the seat. We started looking. Okay, hey, we're going to have some relocations. We can, we've got some tickets. We can do some things. We can manage. As we're sitting there, I look out, and I'm like, holy crap, we don't have benches. And so then it's, I'm on the phone with <laughs> UNA, City of Madison folks, hey, yeah. where do we have benches? We need to get every bench we can find and bring it to the ballpark because it's a baseball stadium. The benches are built, it's a, they're, they're built into the dugout. Yeah. We don't need them. Yeah. They, they don't, take them in and out and use them everywhere so now we've got to go scramble to find benches for the teams and all and so it, that was one of the funniest things that we had to come up with uh out of the whole day did you uh, did you if you haven't listened to my episode with Lindsay nup 
at, from the Trash Pandas. Yes. You should listen to that episode. There's a hilarious thing that she talks about at the end where they w- had to go find like 50 gallon oil drums for this Jamaican band because they were going to have a Jamaican band play. I think it, they were hosting the, the AAA All Star game. Right. And then their equipment gets lost or something. And like, well, if we had some oil drum things, we could do that. And she's like, well, I, I guess statute of limitations run out, but I stole some oil drums, you know, <laughs> from some some place. And if they had to find six of them. And it's just this crazy story of like they went through the night, you know. It is amazing. It that off. If you ever need something done, go find somebody who's worked in college or minor league sports <laughs> because they have done, they have found ways to do things when everybody else says it's impossible. 